Hey everyone, my name's Aaron Collins and this is another rendition of me addressing worldly issues in a godly way. Hope everyone's doing well today. So I want to talk about today, uh, black people, how we continue to ask for permission from white people to do things or to have stuff or be included in what they have. And my response to that is simply stop asking them and get your own thing. For too long, we have always been trying to ingratiate ourselves to the dominant society, whatever they have, whatever they do, any events they put on, you know, any, anything like that, to be a part of their society, when they have clearly shown us that they don't want us to be a part of what they have. So simply put, just go and create our own thing. We're very ingenious people. We have, we're very creative. We have no problem. We have the education and the wherewithal to do it. So the question is, is why don't we just do it? Why do we have to keep asking for white trinkets and, and leftovers and permission to do what it is that we already know how to do? Are we not forgetting that we come from a, a people that were kings and queens? We come from royalty. We are a royal people. We are a strong people. We are a powerful people. And we're survivors. I mean, we come from people whose an our ancestors survived the Middle Passage. Some of them jumped overboard and refused to be slaves, but at the same time, we had others who didn't jump overboard but still survived the horrors of chateau slavery, uh, Willie Lynch, Jim Crow, and even to this present day. These are the type of people we are. We are strong people. So simply put, we, we, have, we can create, we, we actually are the creators of society. We've designed, I mean, people like Benjamin Banneker, E.B. Du Bois, Frederick Douglass, you name it. And <clears throat> we created things. George Washington Carver found so many uses for, for, with a peanut. So... We can create our own civilizations, our own societies. We create everyone else's, so why don't we create something for ourselves? Bottom line, stop asking to be a part of something. Stop asking for permission from the dominant society to be what it is that we already are. We're royal people. I would be glad when like a collective spark just ignites in black people worldwide, all over the diaspora, and we just get this feeling of, I get it. When we just wake up from this stupor that we're in, that would be remarkable. And once that happens, the entire planet will, will be the witness to it and will take notice and realize that the black race is the sleeping giant the society has always been talking about. You know, I, and I, I just, this is not necessarily a rant, but I just want to just put a bug in my people's ear to stop asking for something. Stop, stop, stop. You know what? The Bible says that the violent take it by force. And that's what we need to do. We, we need to, to take our culture, our history, our, our freedom, whatever it is, take it by force. Need to, we need to just go there and just wreck shop. You know, do what we've been doing. I mean, we do it to each other. We're so busy running rough shot on each other. Well, we need to exercise that same amount of vitriol that we use on each other against our own people and use it against this white supremacist society that continues to try to keep us down. So I just want to um, say that to everyone. You know, like I said, once again, I'm not ranting. I'm not, you know, I'm not complaining. I just want our people to do better. I love us. I love black us. I, lo I love what we do. I love what we've come from. I love what we've accomplished. I, I love what we can be. So I know I use this, um, I talk about, the Black Panther a lot, but I think it's a great movie. Cause um, I look at Wakanda as basically a metaphor for life. 
See, Wakanda is to me is what we can have, is what we can be, is what what we are, what what our people have the talent and the ingenuity to do. If we just come together as one collective force and make up in our mind that enough is enough, it's time to build. Now, we've always been tearing down each other. We've always been destroying our own community. Well, I think it's time for us to build each other up and our communities. It's time for us to, as black men to go back to loving and protecting our black women and our communities. It's time for our black women to go back to being the nurturers and not saying that black women are not nurturers. As a matter of fact, black women that's, have been the best nurturers because history has stated even when white parents and white moms didn't want to nurse their own babies, black women were there to do that. So, but um, one thing I will say of black women, they've been hurt so much that a lot of them have become angry and bitter. So we co collectively need to work on that. But I just wanted to say that just to say that we can do it. You know what? We are a kingdom of greatness, a royal priesthood. And just like those, those warriors, just like those captives that refuse to be in captivity and decide to jump overboard, that's the same type of mentality and attitude we need to have that we're not going to take the trinkets, we're not going to take the crumbs, we're going to take the whole cake and we're going to do it for ourselves. So I just wanted to say that to everyone and let everyone know that I believe there is hope for us. There is hope. So like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Let me know what you, what you think. Hit the bell icon to be on the notification squad to be, you know, be told when I do videos. And I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I may do a live stream. We'll see. But anyway, everyone like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also support Aaron Aid at paypal.me forward slash the real Aaron Collins. Any donation would do. I really appreciate it. I gratefully, I am so grateful for everyone that has subscribed to me and has supported me. I love you all. You mean so much to me. And I just like giving you this knowledge and spreading what I have to say to the masses of my people and anyone else that might be listening. Maybe you can learn something also. So, everyone, God loves you. I love you. Let's do life.